pieces that will give your costume some pizzazz. It's great for women or children. When my son asked me to make him a ghost costume, I really wanted to avoid the sheet over the head with cut eyes and your hand poking through because it's hard for kids to wear that and it's hard to go trick-or-treating. You're always worried about something falling off or getting your hand out. It's just hard to be a ghost when you have a sheet over your head. So I came up with a really easy ghost costume that uses pieces in your closet and this cape that you make. You will need lightweight transparent fabric like tulle or lace. I used a white transparent curtain that I thrift or find at a store. You'll need a white pair of pants, a white sweater or top, white shoes, or if you don't have white shoes, you can use a light colored pair of shoes. And lastly, a fake chain adds a nice touch to your ghost costume. I like to use a curtain since there's already a casing along the top. And if there's a tag on your curtain, I recommend ripping it off so it's not on your costume. Your piece of fabric or curtain will need to be about one and a half times wider than your shoulders or the shoulders of your child, and then the length from your shoulder to the floor. Once I have the width right, I like to fold my curtain in half multiple times so it's easier to cut a hem along the bottom. And since this is a ghost, you want it to be a little ragged on the hem. You don't want it to be perfectly cut. So it's okay if your hem doesn't look perfect. Take a white ribbon or drawstring and put a safety pin on it and thread it through the casing. If you are not using a curtain and you don't have a casing along the top of your fabric, you will need to essentially create a hem along the top, fold it over twice and sew it, and that will create a tube that you can pull the drawstring or ribbon through with your safety pin. Once you have pulled your drawstring or ribbon through the casing, pull both sides so that the ends are an even amount outside of the casing. Sew the ribbon or drawstring to the edge of the casing to make it stay in place. The two ends will be how you tie the cape on. Carefully distribute the gathers evenly around the cape and then test out the ties to see if you can tie a bow which is how the cape will stay on. Next, fold the cape in half lengthwise multiple times so that you can cut some strips along the bottom to make a fringe. With scissors, cut fringe along the hem of your cape. I like to cut my fringe two to four inches wide and about 12 inches tall. As the cape is worn and the edges are snagged, the edges will roll and make the fringe slightly smaller. If you would like to take your costume a step further, I would recommend using the same lightweight fabric and adding strips to the pants and the top. I had it hanging off of the pockets and the knees. I also had some across the front of the shirt and hanging off of the sleeves. You can just use glue or a little bit of sewing to attach the fabric to the pants and shirt. I even had a tiny cape along the back I put on this white sweater and white jeans. You can use any white top you have or any white bottoms you have. It doesn't really matter. They're all great. And then I don't have any white shoes, so I'm just going to wear these um, flats, these nude flats that I have. 
These are great, and I think they're fine for being a ghost. Then I have, I have this fake chain that we use for, to decorate for Halloween, and I am just making it into one big loop. And you can wear it as a big necklace. You could wear it twice like this. Um, you could also wear it, this is how my kids like to wear it. I cross it in the front. And I hook it in the back. It's a little small for me. Um, I kind of have to wear it up on my shoulder. But that works also today for the ghost. I'm just going to wear it as like a big necklace, just a not long necklace. And then the last thing is the ghost cape. So I just throw it over my shoulders like this and I'm going to tie it in a bow right here in the front and this is just a regular bow and I have my big cape and you can put the chain over the cape if you want if you like that look better I feel like it's um, on top of the ghost and then I have this big cape with the edges that are shredded. It's so great for looking like a ghost when you're walking. So this is a really, really easy ghost costume to put together. You just need a couple of pieces and a little bit of DIY work to make your own easy ghost costume. Thanks for watching and I can't wait to see your ghost costumes. Well.